You may be wondering what I'm looking for out here. Well, I'm looking for Hollywood's next hottest producer. Hey, Chris. Oh, hey. Hey, nice to meet How's, you. Yeah, how, yeah, how uh, you doing? Uh, hey, uh, hey, come on. What's the matter? You some kind of stupid? Come on. Anyways, um, let's get started. Who would you say are your greatest influences? Well, Tarantino, TMNT, Power Rangers. You guys ever seen The Matrix? I have. Good movie. Next question. What do you consider the highlight of your career? Mm -hmm. Well, I feel like my career hasn't really hit its peak yet. I feel like every achievement, every film project, one after the next is more and more monumental than the last. I feel like greatness is right around the corner at every turn. That's true. What does filmmaking mean to you? To me, films are like a type of art. And storytelling is one of the most ancient traditions that humans have. A way to remember and celebrate traditions and tales of heroism and courage and graphic violence. And by perpetuating these stories, I get an opportunity to continue the legacy of uh, artists from all you know all over the all over the history. Like, like, like Shakespeare. Chris, what, what inspires you to do what you do? People ask me a lot about inspirations, and typically I say, uh, you know, for in terms of what kind of artists that have inspired me, I'm tempted to say Michelangelo, Donatello, uh, Raphael. Tommy, Jason, even Billy, sometimes Zach. Chris, how do you go about eliminating your enemies? Well, you can't take, you can't, uh, I'm, I'm probably not at liberty to go into too many details on that one. As a kid growing up, what made you want to become a filmmaker? As a child, I was always interested in playing games, you know, playing the hero, having little characters, stories that we play with uh, on the playground or playing with our toys, our Legos, build a, build a spaceship, send our characters out on a mission. Um, I feel like I've, I've always had that part of me, always been interested in building things and making, creating things. Uh, for me, Been a long time coming. I see you brought some uh, props for us here today. Here to explain the story behind these. We've got we've got some uh, got some weaponry here. We've got some of these blades. One of the main things that I try and focus on in films uh, is action sequences. I'm very drawn to a lot of martial arts traditions. Uh, a lot of films that incorporate stage fighting, uh, stage stage combat uh, dating back to you know Douglas Fairbanks in black and white films and even prior to that to the theatrical traditions um, but trying to develop the weapons is, is always a challenge and there's always naysayers but if you put your mind to it you can you can uh, you can you can create almost anything so Chris Tell me about your next project. Sometimes I don't have a project and I just, you know, hang around, check the, check the internet, lay around, um, go take the dog for a walk. Um, but when I've got 
uh, when there's uh, when there's when there's money to be made, you can bet your ass that I'm going to be taking care of business. And you can take that to the bank. He is, without a doubt, single-handedly, literally the worst director I have ever worked with. You see what I have to deal with? <laughs> This is garbage. You're garbage. Get out.